hey guys, welcome to another video from JC Engineer. Today we would like to show you how to make circuits and display different ways that electricity um, operates. So it's a really good way to teach uh, children about currents. And of course we're going to use um, our magnetic tiles. And I just wanted to show you what you're going to need in order to make this particular project. And I got my little man, Sebastian, who's going to help me out today. So first of all, make sure that you choose what figure you're going to make. You will also need some copper tape. We got this one from Amazon and we will show you on a link where you can actually get this one from as well. The tape you see here right now, it's only conductive on one end. I will explain about this once we get to uh, the connection of the light. You're going to need one light. We managed to get these ones from small Christmas lights and so we just cut it off. You're going to need one flat battery. Make sure that the battery is working, obviously. One pair of scissors, some tape, and that's all. Well, look, you can really make whatever shape you want. Um, I wanted to create a rocket for Sebastian, just so he can get an idea of how it operates. Once you created your shape and you're ready to go, now we're going to start putting our copper tape around it. In, in this scenario, we are going to put the uh, flat battery right at the end and run a positive and negative conducts all the way through to the light on the top. We're going to make sure that the part where the battery is, we can disconnect it and reconnect it to turn the circuit uh, on and off. We'll get started by creating different cuts with the copper tape. Please ensure that when you're cutting each one of the strips, you are delicate to do it because the tape is very thin and it can easily break. It's a great uh, motor skill for the little one so they can actually learn how to peel um, the tape off. I'm sure you've probably done a lot of these exercises before. Okay guys, when you get to the section of the light, uh, one thing I want to highlight is please ensure that the light um, connectors go on top of the copper tape. Now the reason I'm saying this is um, our particular copper tape is not um, conductive on both ends, it is only conductive on top of it. So um, the best way to get around it is obviously by placing the connectors on top of the copper tape and then just finish it up with another little bit of copper on top of it just to you know, just to be able to actually hold it together okay so please make sure that you do that another important thing that I want to remind everyone is when you're putting the copper strips please ensure that it goes all the way to the edge so this way the contacts will work correctly for the last part of the connection you need to remember that one part will take the battery on the positive and the negative. So what I've done in this place is create one short strip for the negative and one longer strip that's going to be bended in half in order to still create a copper connection on the top, just the way that I'm doing it right now. And there you have it guys, this is how the current is now running from both ends. When I got Sebastian to um, try out how the battery connects the current, I highlighted to him many times that it needs to align correctly so the light can turn on. Because I've used different blocks, I can actually remove some of them and still have the connection. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.